Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to change the case owner of the chat whenever the chat is routed via Omnichannel. Whenever the incoming chat is routed via Omnichannel, the case owner will be defaulted to the automated process because the chat transcript and the case will be created in the automated processor, process user context. In order to change the ownership of the case to the agent who accepted the uh, chat, we have to write either a trigger or a record triggered flow or we can also use process builder on the agent work entity. Whenever a chat is routed via Omnichannel, agent work record will be created. Uh, prior to that, uh, pending service routing record will also be created. So when the agent accepts the chat, the agent work status will be opened. So once the agent clicks accept chat um, from the Omnichannel widget, the status will be changed to open, opened. Uh, so we can write a logic on the agent work based on the status uh, uh, as opened and we can also check whether the work item which is routed via Omnichannel is chat transcript because the agent work record object is also used for all the objects like messaging session, case, lead, custom object, whatever we are planning to route via Omnichannel makes use of the same agent work object. So in order to do this only for chat we have to add additional condition to make sure the work item which is routed via omnichannel is just chat so i have created a flow called agent workflow to update the case owner it's a record triggered flow in the start i have selected agent work as the object and then i have selected record when the whenever the record is updated we need not have this rec is created or updated. It is just uh, we need is updated. Because when the agent work record is created, the status will be new. I'm checking two conditions here. First is status is equal to opened. And I'm also checking whether the work item ID starts with 570. So 570 is the uh, object prefix for um, live chat transcript uh, object. And then I'm also making sure whenever the record is updated to meet the condition, not every time when the record is uh, uh, updated. Yeah, so whenever an agent record work is updated and if the status is set to opened and if the work item ID starts with 570, so if the work is uh, nothing but a chart transcript record, then the flow will execute. Okay, so next, I am using get records to fetch the chat transcript. So here I'm passing, uh, I'm setting the condition as ID equals to record uh, of work item ID. So this is the chat transcript ID. So using that I'm fetching the chat transcript uh, record. Here I'm getting only the ID and the case ID and also the owner ID, just three fields, standard ID, standard field case ID and another standard field owner ID. And then I am checking whether the case is found or whether the case is not found. So the default outcome is case not found. If the case is found for that I am using whether the fetched chat transcript has case ID. So if the case ID is not null, then this particular path will come. If the case is not found, then it will end the flow directly. And next I am using assignment uh, component. So here I have created a variable called OBJ case. And for that OBJ case, I am passing the case ID as the case ID from the chat transcript. And I am also assigning the case uh, id as uh, cases uh, owner id as the chat transcripts agent id once it is done using update element i am updating the case record 
So in this way, when the agent work is accepted, it is fetching the chat transcript and in the chat transcript, it is getting the owner ID and the case ID and then it is checking whether the case is present. If the case is present, it is assigning values to this uh, OBJ case variable. It is a record type data type and the object is case. I am setting the ID and the owner from the chat transcript which is uh, fetched. From this chat transcript um, get records element, I am getting the ID, case ID and owner ID. So based on that, I am assigning the variable and then I am updating the case. So the flow is active now. So let's test it out. In order to test it, I have created a simple uh, um, VF page with my embedded uh, code. Let me go online in Omni. Yeah, now I'm able to see chat with the expert. I'm initiating a chat. So as an agent, I'm accepting it. Now the agent work status will be uh, new and after uh, after that it would have been missed now I have to accept the chat immediately yeah so I'm accepting the chat the status will be set to opened flow would have triggered I am an admin user so the owner is admin user and the case owner is also set to admin user so if you go to the case you will see that it updated the owner from automated process user to admin user. So with just a point and click using a simple flow, I was able to update the case records owner to the chat transcripts owner. So since I was an agent, I accept the, the chat, the case record should also be owned by me. So using this flow, I was able to update the case owner. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.